I'm Foley here at Foley Performance Academy. We're discussing process. In our first video on process, we discussed Einstein and thinking. So this was us trying to get to exactly what club and what shot that we wanted to hit. Now, we've done that, and now we're on to Picasso, all right? So Picasso was a great artist. This is where we get into painting and creating, all right? This is where we need to start to create intention and awareness. So the idea is that I already know I'm done thinking. I don't need to think anymore. I've used my intellect to pick the right club to give me the highest probability for success. Now I need to move on to the intention aspects. So from here, as I'm painting and creating, some players hit draws more than other people. Some players hit the ball left to right. Some people hit the ball lower. Some people hit the ball higher. Some hit people hit the ball straight. Typically, when we're talking about painting and creating, what if that 183 hole, all right, needs to go 170 and the pin's on the left side of the green? So ideally, am I gonna hit a cut into a left pin? Probably not, it's gonna be more of a draw. So when we get into the painting and creating, we're starting to change the variation in the trajectory up or down and movement of the ball right to left or left to right. This is very, very important because I can make the green bigger or make the green smaller based on what I've done. Based on what side of the tee I tee it up on, I'm gonna do the same thing to the green and quadrants of making it either uh, more susceptible to a good shot or not. So once I've got through the process, I'm done with my thinking, now I'm in painting and creating. What I'm gonna do is I'm not just gonna sit there and visualize what's going on. I'm going to ask myself a great question. What does a great shot look like at this point? All right, what does a good or great shot look like at this point? So as I'm standing there on the tee, all of a sudden when I've asked the question, I've started to become more aware and now I'm gonna see something. So some people see the whole flight, some people just feel it in their body. Some people see the ball landing on the green. So whether you're visual or kinesthetic, so whether you're a feel player or you're a visual player, that's gonna be based on you. And you need to try both and see which one comes um, obviously more natural to you. I think we're all auditory, we're all kinesthetic, we're all visual, but some people are more stronger suited to certain ways of, of doing that. So once I get into Picasso, the whole goal is I've decided seven irons my club. Now what I'm gonna do is hit a mid-flight draw. And after I ask myself the question, I can see that. And then it's just about going in and running the loop and running the loop, running the awareness. So by that, I mean, as I'm setting up, I'm kind of feeling the shot in my body and my eyes are going out to create awareness and intent. And I'm just moving through the feeling of that shot and then from there, it's just going ahead and letting go and knowing that hopefully you've trained in a way that's going to allow you um, to hit that shot. And, and I would hope that when you're playing that once you get to this point, you can be really free with it because if you get guidey or steery and you don't let it go, you'll never really know what to work on. I'm only gonna know what to work on in my swing if I can get up and execute shots with total freedom to see mechanically where there might be something that I need to adjust. So that's us going from thinking into painting and creating. And the final point that we're gonna talk about in the next video is the Buddha and acceptance.